Hey guys, good morning, welcome back. Happy whatever day it is in your world. Let's talk about something. For any of you guys, girls, that are close to an age, I'm gonna tell you. We always wore the wide leg, the boot cut, the flares. I never liked silver jeans never liked them they didn't fit me right they fit my friends right they didn't fit me right i tried i will get you the style of these jeans like if you want a pair of wide leg jeans get them second thing that's new is the inside of my arm the tattoo it has that film on it you can't see it but that's the first time that she's used that film on me it's staying on really well. It's like barely peeling up on the back a little bit, but that's fine. And I see some people it gets all like gross and this has not. So we'll see. It's what, three days old now? Those are the updates. The jeans, I got mine from Samuel & Co. They're not like terribly high-waisted. They're more like a medium rise. Lots of room in the leg. These are distressed, but they had different versions of them. Nice, big flare. Okay, bye. Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, the power keeps trying to go out. We've been having thunderstorms since about 6.30 this morning, but I wanted to walk you through my nail salon haul. It didn't come in a Samuel & Co bag. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is in this bag, did not come from the nail salon. It's the Alani New Energy Drinks. This one's Cosmic Stardust. Cherry Slush, freaking love them. If you need to pick me up, in the middle of the day, when you're having like a long day in the salon, you want those. Just take my word for it. I will provide a link down below. I have them, I think, in my Amazon store, so they you can take a look at them there. The link down below and my discount code is also there for the nail throne. I'm done with the noise, sorry about that. We're also going to do a little tutorial today. I'm really excited to do it. It's by... What is his name? I always... Yeah. Hi, this is Future Me editing. And that tutorial didn't work out. But I did find you another one. So first, the haul. I have the Glitterbell No White Precious Top Coat. I also have the Rubber Top Gel. The Rubber Top Gel and the No White Top Coat, two of my favorites. Hands down. I have a black Unbelievable Gel. You guys know I love that. I have Don't Be Bitter. Uh, that one, I don't have the, I don't have the uh, seals off of them yet, but that one is going to be gorgeous. I just know it. I also have Impulsive. I cannot wait to see that one. Luscious Lilac. I have a lilac in Ugly Duckling that people love, but it was almost gone and I'm already ordering from the nail throne, so I got it from there. I got Swagger, which I think is gonna be a lot of fun and indestructible. Uh, my clients love those uh, neutral colors. I also got Sweet Syrup because it is fall and I got Mardi Gras. I'm so excited for this one. How cool is that? Those are the ones I have. I also got two new acrylics. I got Sour Candy and Be My Valentine. So you guys will see these in an upcoming tutorial. I did get the Nail Throne Chameleon Flakes and you guys are probably going to see this in today's tutorial. I haven't even had them open yet, but I just decided that I wanted to use them. Like, aren't those cool? I just love them. That's what I got from the nail throne, and that's also what I picked up and brought to work with me. And I also brought a can of soup, but you probably don't need to see that. My Yeti cup is peeling, so that's fun. We're drinking tea today because we're off the coffee. About twice a year, I have to get off the coffee. Now is the time. So here we are, off the coffee. You might want to send me some vibes of some sort. So I am gonna do up a few of the dots for the tops of the jars, just because there's not very many, and it seems like I always not forget to do them, I just don't do them. And then before you know it, like a week and a half has gone by and I still don't have them done. So these are linked below in my Amazon store as well. Believe me when I say you need them and you want them. So I'm going to paint the underside, not the top. That has been working best for me. And because the Unbelievable Gels have a top coat right in them, I don't have to put a top coat 
on my swatches, which, make, which makes me, I can't speak, which makes me very happy because I think the process of top coat is probably like the most time consuming when you're trying to do swatches. Or to me it is anyway. This one's dragging a little bit. I didn't use quite enough product. And then we will get into doing a tutorial because I'm feeling like doing some nail art, but I don't wanna do anything too specific. And I feel like this tutorial that I'm gonna follow really isn't terribly specific. It can be manipulated however you want it to be without too much trouble. So I really love that. Oh, that Mardi Gras one is so nice. Sweet syrup is nice too. Um, it's a really nice fall color. Throw the purple one over here. This luscious lilac, like I said, I, I went through a whole bottle of it. Very nice. Yeah. Okay, let's get that in the light. So that's how easy it is to do those. Like that is literally all it takes. Then, while those are curing, get rid of my garbage, take out my tweezers that I don't use for like clients, whip them off because I was using them to remove the seals of these. I'm just going to close them, take the dot. So I'm gonna take each of the dots off of here very carefully. I'm going to put them right on the bottle just below where it says Annabelle, just like that. And when I'm done, so I'm gonna do all of these and then I will just pop the top off of that. I'll show you how I do that though. We'll just go through the whole process. These are so much fun and like life changing, even on the bottle, not just on the bars. Tweezers definitely is the easiest though to work with these. I've tried just using my hands. And every now and again, that happens. So I got the top off of that, but I didn't get the sticky part. So there's the sticky part. But it came off nicely, so I'm just gonna place it on there. And I'll have a chance to push it down when I go to put the color on. Taking off the kind of top, which leaves the sticky dot. Sometimes I do this in like some sort of order because you have colors that are really similar, but today I don't, so I didn't bother. And I will just lay that down onto the sticky part, hold it down and like move it a little bit. And it just pops off of there. That's how easy that is. So that was Mardi Gras, sweet syrup. Lilac. Hey guys, welcome back. You are perched precariously, and I really hope I, I'm gonna take a picture of this actually so that you can see where you're perched. Where is my camera? <laughs> yeah, there we go. I'm drinking my coffee that isn't really coffee, it's a lion's mane mm, latte. I don't know, I think it's the think one. I had an ice green tea all ready to bring this morning and it's so cold out, like it's still only 10 degrees Celsius. And anyway, so I brought out the tea kettle. If you've been here for a minute, you, can, you will remember that I had a tea kettle that sat all the time, it stays, lives over on the stand and I took it down um, in the spring and it's back. I fished it out of its hiding place in the cupboard and so now tea has begun. We're off coffee. It's tea season now. We'll see. We don't we don't really know how long that's gonna last. I brought some local honey and I brought I have I have so much tea here. Obviously we're off coffee. <laughs> what else is going on? As I'm sure you can tell I didn't do yesterday's um tutorial. I didn't follow that tutorial. I started it and it bombed desperately. So you didn't get that footage. Hopefully I have a little bit of time today to be able to provide you with yet another because there are other ones that I wanna do. There are other ones that I wanna follow. I think too, I wanted to kind of clarify the reason why I wanna follow designs that I'm finding on Instagram. So it's, it's just like a thing. Clients bring nail text design off of Instagram. Let's just say off of Instagram, Pinterest, Google, wherever the internet. Often, not saying this for everybody, but oftentimes it's like an immediate <gasps> for the nail tech. She's like, nope, can't do that. You got that off the internet. 
<laughs> I don't want to do that. Some of them, however complicated looking, aren't. They aren't. There's so many layers, but they're not complicated. And for the most part, they do work out. So I really just kind of want to pick a design, sit down and follow it. It's not so much to recreate somebody else's work, but it's to just show you that you can. I don't know if I'm even saying that right. If you understand, interpret that below. I do, I do know from nail techs that sometimes when they get broad designs, it's just an immediate like, oh my goodness. Anyhow, that's what I would like to do. That is the whole point to re repurposing some of this art, if you will. So I'm just picking out a design. I don't know if I'll do it right now or if I'll wait. I have an hour right now before my client comes, but as you know, sometimes it takes a long time down. So if I don't do it right now, I will do it in a few minutes, but I really hope you enjoyed the haul from earlier. I used a couple of those colors yesterday afternoon, kind of after I filmed, and they were gorgeous. I need a new mug. Did you see this? This, this part of the vlog really went off the rails, didn't it? We'll be back later. Okay, you guys, this vlog has been absolutely all over the place, but that's okay. We're almost done, and I'm going to do a little demo. I've had it in my mind all week. You guys know. Let's just do it. We're just going to do it. I'm going to walk you through it. Okay, we're just jumping in. What we've got on the stands here is one black nail with Mardi Gras from the Unbelievable Gels collection, and... Olivine, 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 and a matte top coat, of course, because we are going to draw on these. So we're gonna do something a little, I don't know, a little wonky, a little different. I think it's a great idea. I also think it's a great idea for people, clients that want a fall slash Halloween nail, but yet they're not there yet. Like the people that really want like the early Halloween nails, but not necessarily ready for like the full on Halloween nail. So here we go. We have a matte top coat over Olivine and we are going to come in with our dotting tool. And this is a dotting tool from Enail Couture. I don't have a link for this dotting tool, but I can leave you a link for another one that I have and really like. So I am going to do a few dots here. to use our Glitter Bells glass slippers. Put that over top of our matte top coat. Knock some of that off and then I'm going to put it right in the light just like that. I'm not gonna touch it. Okay, so we're ready for the next one. I'm still not gonna touch this. I have almost fully cured it, but I'm just going to let it set. Now I'm going to come back into Olivine, and I'm going to come from this direction.
I'm gonna leave that spider web at that. I didn't want it to be like, I want everything to be pretty simple and put that in the light to care. And on the small nail here, we're going to do the same concept. I'm going to do a little like star, sort of. And I'm gonna somewhat join the corners on that. And then I'm going to take my dotting tool and just a few simple dots. And then we are going to put this over it again. Now this is just a simple way to do easy, kind of low commitment nail art, low commitment for both you and your client. I'm gonna pop this in the light for a solid 30 to make sure everything is cured well. These can be done with any color and obviously they can be done at any season, but this is something that I just think is really fun for right now when it's not quite October, but you might still want to be doing a little bit of Halloween nail art. So I'm gonna insert a clip of today's nail art. I hope you've enjoyed today's vlog. I know it was a little weird and all over the place, but I wanted to get that haul for you. I wanted to show you those jeans because that was very important, and I wanted to show you the new tattoo, and it's doing well. We're a couple days later now. The uh, little tape stuff is starting to peel a little bit, but it's dry, there's, there's nothing going on there, so I think I'm ready, I'm about ready to take that off tomorrow, today, we don't know. Anyway, have a good week. Have a good weekend, whatever day you're watching this. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe so that you are notified when I post.